Hello YouTube, this is Joseph Ristemi Piguez, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be working with the Visit uh, Visualization Library. It's a great library, it's one of my favorite libraries out there because you can use it to open all kinds of... Uh, let me show you. These are the type of things that it can do. This is It can open all of these extensions. So you have your ANSYS files, you uh, Fluent, if you're doing computational fluid dynamics, it's now owned by ANSYS, but if these are all, uh, some of them are commercial packages that actually cost thousands of dollars in license fees, yearly fees. You can actually open them with this library, no problem. You can open all of these formats that you can see if you're in the astronomy or in the, in the, um, um, FITS is, is a big one for NASA and uh, astronomy. Uh, what other ones? These are also VTK, of course. We're using VTK, VTI, XSF. That's a, you don't see that very often. Uh, very importantly, your SDL files, if you're working with CAD and, and opening for um, the Make Maker Bot community, all of that stuff, you're able to open it with this one. Your more conventional formats, like uh, here they are, like JPEG, PNG, Bitmap, uh, TIFF, and so on. So all of those formats can be opened. That's incredible. Not only can you open all of those, but you can also go and do all kinds of uh, manipulation of variables and, uh, and visualize uh, really, really nice stuff. I mean, it looks unbelievable. You can manipulate variables. You can replace. You can do all kinds of stuff. And I'll be showing you some of them as we go along. I mean, I cannot show you all of them in one tutorial, but we'll we'll show you a few that you can uh, we'll show you how to manipulate them. So let's get started. So we first thing you need to do is you need to go into your, the downloads page on the visit and find the ex right executable for your platform. I'm in the Linux Ubuntu. Right now, uh, they don't have one for the beta yet, as of today. Um, as you can see, they only have it for Red Hat, Mac, and Windows. So in my case, I got to pick this the next best, which is the release one, which is very stable. And choose this one. Be careful with this one. This one is more if you're doing parallel. There's a whole, a whole different thing I don't even want to tell you about it because it's, it's, it's different just choose this one so hit download and it's going to ask you where you want to save it say okay I'm gonna hit cancel because I already have it and let me close this really quick not to confuse you and now you're going to go into your downloads file And you're going to see it. It's right there. Uh, actually, I moved it. Sorry. So let's clear. So you're going to go and say, move. Um, let me just download it really quick so you know. So you can follow along. I didn't want to download it because it takes a little bit, uh, not too long, but longer than I like it to be. Things downloading here. Now I'm going to go into my downloads page. Wait for it to download. It downloaded, I believe. And there it's, it's done. So now you go into your downloads and you go move, downloads, visit. Oh, before you do that, let's do this. Let's go to back.
back to your home directory and create a directory called visit. Okay. In my case, I, it complains because I already have it. Then once it's created, you go back into your downloads directory. And then you go either copy or move. And then call it visit. And then tell it to go one directory level up into your newly created directory called visit. Hit enter. Now you go into your visit directory. And you're going to, in my case, there it is. Visit directory. Don't worry about everything else here. And then do remove. Still, I, I already have it here, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So now you have this guy. So now you're going to get another batch file, script file. That This one is right there for this. Be careful because it has to be the same one that you use. So in this case, we use that one. So we choose this one. Okay. I almost chose the wrong one. So it's this one. So you go visit install script. Start right there. And it's a raw file. And I'm going to copy the whole thing. So I go all the way to the bottom. And you go all the way up. You want it all. Copy. And then you're going to create a directory called nano visit install and put it there and there you go close it save it but as you can see it's white so you want it to be neon because neon means that it's an executable and, it's, and it can be executed so you're going to go, um, because as you can see, these are the things that it needs. It needs permissions. So it needs 755. So what I usually do, instead of give it, give it the numbers, I just give it the letters. So I go CH mod plus X, name of the file, install. And now you're going to see that it became neon. And there it is. So now it became neon. So now I'm going to run it. Go visit install. And then it's going to take care of this guy right there. But before that, I got to tell it here, as you can see, I got to tell it the version platform. And the directory. So the version I'm using is 213. What is it? 213 3. 2. Okay, let's just go back. Uh, where is it? It's right here. I'm using. This is the version. So copy, paste, and then what else you wanted to know? You wanted to know platform, which in my case is Linux x86. It's right there. 64 Ubuntu 18 copy paste and then you it needs to know the directory where it's, that is being created so in my case I'm user 
local visit. And then hit enter. And then it's going to, in my case, I don't want it to do it, so it's good that it stopped me. You just go sudo. You just copy and paste. Being that you're copying into the one of those directories, you gotta put the word sudo there. And then it's going to start doing it. I'm not gonna do it because I, I already created it. And it's going to ask you where in the middle of the installation is going to ask you where you want it uh, because you can actually go remotely and and, and work uh, run computations in the at the lab so it's going to ask you how close are you to one of these places in my case i'm in the east coast so of the united states so princeton is my closest but if you're in the west coast of the u.s you can choose sandia if you're in europe you can use the Polytechnic University in Zurich, or you can use the Swiss National Computing Center, Supercomputing Center. If you're in the Midwest, I would go with the University of Michigan, or in the, in the South, I would go with the LSU. But it's up to you, you know what I mean. So you have a choice, just choose one of them. This is not gonna let you go through unless you choose one. Once you choose it, it's gonna, keep going and it's going to create a directory like this and you're going to it's going to create this directory right here and now we're going to test it to make sure it's working and there it is it's version 213 and it's got all the binaries and the current you might not have the current yet you might only get those two for now and then you go into your bin file to, to your directories for the binaries and you're gonna see all of these binaries in there you're gonna see all this this is the big one right here visit this is the one that you are going to execute don't worry about all the other stuff in there. If you're missing all the stuff, don't worry about that. For now, just do visit and run it. And there you go. You have your visit platform and it's working. And in the next tutorial, I'll show you how you can work with this. It's gonna have a, a graphical user interface GUI and it's gonna have a viewer. So if you got to this point, everything is good, everything is working. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to put stuff in here. So this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like channel, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time with another tutorial. Have a great day.